Hello friends this is Lena from Vitish Academy and today in this presentation I'm going to explain you an example under quadratic expressions So here in this example we have to prove that the quadratic expression does not lie between 1 and 4 if x is real So let us consider the given quadratic equation as y So we get here y is equal to 1 divided by 3x plus 1 plus 1 divided by x plus 1 Minus one divided by three x plus one into x plus one. So on taking LCM, we get y is equal to. In the denominator, we get three x plus one into x plus one. And the numerator terms would be x plus one plus three x plus one minus one. So we can cancel over here plus one and minus one. And by cross multiplying over here, we get y into three x plus one into x plus one. Is equal to and coming over to the RHS side by adding x plus 3x we get here 4x plus 1. So in the next step we get this as y into 3x into x would be here 3x square plus 3x into 1 would be 3x and again by multiplying 1 with x plus 1 we get here plus x plus 1 is equal to 4x plus 1. That implies we get here y into 3x square plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 4x plus 1. And now let us multiply y to the expression. So we get here 3x square y plus 4xy plus y. And here by transferring the RHS terms to the left hand side, we get minus 4x minus 1. Is equal to zero. Now let us write this equation in the form of a quadratic equation in x. So we get here three y into x square, and here from the terms four x y and minus four x, if we take x as a common factor, then we get plus of four y minus four into x plus y minus one is equal to zero. Given that x is real. Which is nothing but the determinant value is greater than or equal to zero. Here, determinant is nothing but b square minus 4ac greater than or equal to zero. So, from this quadratic equation, we have the value of a as 3y, b as 4y minus 4, and the value of c is y minus 1. So, on substituting these values over here, we get 4y minus 4 whole square minus 4 into 3y into Y minus one greater than or equal to zero. So the first term is in the form of the formula a minus b whole square. So let us apply this formula. We get here four y whole square plus y whole square minus two into four y into four minus four into by multiplying three y with y minus one we get. 3y square minus 3y greater than or equal to zero. That implies we get here 16y square plus 4 square, and its value is 16 minus 32y minus by multiplying 4 with the group 3y square minus 3y, we get minus 12y square plus 12y greater than or equal to zero. Now let us add the like terms. So here we have 16y square and minus 12y square. So this would be here 4y square. And similarly, we have minus 32y plus 12y. Its value would be minus 20y plus 16 greater than or equal to zero. Now let us take 4 as a common factor. So we get here 4 into y square minus 5y. Plus four greater than or equal to zero. So if we transfer four to the other side, the value would become zero, and we get here y square minus five y plus four greater than or equal to zero. That implies by factorizing this in equation, we get here y square minus four y minus y plus four greater than or equal to zero. So in the next step, by taking y as a common factor over here. We get y into y minus four, and again by taking minus one as a common factor from the remaining terms, we get minus one into 
y minus 4 greater than or equal to 0. So that implies we get here y minus 4 into y minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. So from this we can say that the value of y minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 or y minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. That implies we get here y greater than or equal to 4 or y greater than or equal to 1. So from this we can conclude that the values of y does not belongs to 1 and 4. So we can see that the given expression does not lie between 1 and 4. So this is how we solve an example under quadratic expressions. Hope you understood the concept. Refer to more videos on quadratic expressions on our website VDH Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.